Josh Hartnett, legend has it, was someone that you considered for Batman way back when. Is that true? Did you screen test him or even offer him the role of Batman? No, it never never got that far. I mean, it, I mean, I met with with Josh, and as I recall, um, you know, he was somebody. Uh, he was a young actor whose whose work I was very interested in, uh, and I, I, you know, I had an initial conversation with him, but he was more interested. He'd read my uh, my brother's script for the Prestige at the time, oh. and was sort of more interested in getting involved with with that. So it, oh. it, it never kind of went further than that. Um, but uh, he was a, a young actor who we were paying a lot of attention to, and, and I think his work over the years and the last few years, he's done some really interesting things and really looked to stretch himself. Uh, so, you know, I was really pretty excited to get him to come and play Ernest Lawrence. He shares a lot of things with, with Lawrence as a character, and you know, where they're from, the sort of backgrounds and things, and uh, I, th I think he does a really great job in the film. Um, as does, again, we could go down the, the list, but I do want to mention Robert Downey Jr. because I mean, yeah. he's a long time Downey fan. To see him, look, I love Iron Man. I'll watch him play Iron Man until the end of time, and I did, yeah. I feel like, but to see him kind of do something different and kind of let go of vanity and play a really different kind of a role for him uh, was delicious. I mean, we yeah. can never forget, at the end of the day, this guy is one of our truly brilliant actors. Um, yeah, very much. I mean, I thought, when Favreau had the insight to cast him as Iron Man, I mean, that's one of the great, it's one of the greatest casting decisions in the history of movies. Yeah. And you look at what that did and where that went with, with everything. Um, and I think that was John just knowing what an incredible actor, what incredible potential there was yeah. uh, from Downey. And then the movie star charisma, that wonderful charisma comes into play. What was cool about getting to work with Danny on this project was to be able to go to him and say, okay, put that charisma, put that, that movie star thing to one side for a second and just lose yourself in this real life human being who is so complex and has such an incredible part to play in Oppenheimer's story. Uh, and to watch him just sort of go back to that, that genius as, as an actor, just finding the truth in another human being and, and presenting it and the, the things he does in the film. I think a lot of his fan base are going to be extremely surprised. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool to see somebody who's achieved such greatness as a movie star then pivot completely and stretch themselves in a way that a lot of people haven't seen him do.